Good morning. Today I am going to talk about an important liver disease, which is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and NASH, NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. So it's not uncommon for us to see abnormal liver function tests when we do lab tests or on a sonogram or a CAT scan to see fatty liver. Well, what does this mean? I am going to concentrate today only on NAFLD and NASH. There's a lot of conditions which can cause abnormal liver function tests, like hepatitis, like medications. And there are conditions which can cause fatty liver, like alcohol, for example. I am not going to concentrate on those. My primary focus today is the fatty liver or NAFLD, which can progress to NASH. So when you take a healthy liver and for a lot of other causes like obesity and diabetes, it, what happens is there is fat accumulation in the liver. There's fat, uh, large droplets of fat start accumulating in the liver, which is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD. People with NAFLD can progress to what we call NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. When the fat globules in the liver progress to inflammation and scar tissue, which is called fibrosis, then that is when one has NASH. People with NASH can also progress to cirrhosis of the liver, a lot of scarring will lead to cirrhosis of the liver. So a fatty liver or an AFLD can progress to NASH when there's inflammation, scar tissue. This happens 30 to 50% of the time. Historically, we thought this was a much more benign process, but now more and more studies are showing that it's not as benign as we thought, and it can progress to NASH in 30 to 50% of time. And 20% of NASH uh, livers can progress to cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, one to 2% of the cirrhosis patients can progress to liver cancer. In fact, NASH is one of the conditions where it can progress to cirrhosis without even going, it can progress to liver cancer without even going into cirrhosis. We do not know why some people progress and why, why some people do not progress. So the gold standard in diagnosing people with this spectrum of diseases is a liver biopsy. The radiologist, while he's observing the liver under ultrasound guidance, takes some liver tissue. They do give you a local and the liver tissue is sent to the pathologist. The pathologist will look at the liver tissue and see how much fat there is, how much inflammation there is, how much fibrosis or scar tissue there is, and then tell us whether you have early disease like NAFLD or cirrhosis of the liver or somewhere in between. Even within NASH, there are uh, several degrees. It's early NASH or late NASH, depending on how bad your scar tissue is, fibrosis is. The one thing I want to tell you guys is liver function tests are not a poor man's liver biopsy. What do I mean by that? Well, we have seen people with very little elevation of liver function tests, but they already have cirrhosis. We have seen patients with very marked elevation of liver function tests, but they have very early disease. So liver function tests are not a poor man's liver biopsy. There is one other way which we can diagnose the severity of the liver disease. It's called a fibroscan. Fibroscan is a non-invasive procedure. It is like a sonogram, but this fibroscan measures how much fat there is, and also scar tissue. It does not measure how much inflammation there is. The only problem with the fibroscan is it's not covered by most insurance companies. We do have a fibroscan at Kansas Medical Clinic. 
So liver biopsy and fibro scan are the way to diagnose disease. So what are the causes of this spectrum of diseases, NAFLD, NASH, and cirrhosis from NAFLD and NASH? Well, obesity and diabetes are the commonest causes. Uh, low high density lipoproteins, the good cholesterol, if it's low, that can be a predisposing factor. Some medications can do this. Some people genetic uh, uh, transmission can occur. Some people high triglycerides. Hypothyroidism is a cause, but the principal main factors are obesity and diabetes. And then there is the metabolic syndrome. So what is metabolic syndrome? Well, large weight size, elevated triglycerides, low HDL, hypertension, elevated blood sugars. Three out of these five factors I just mentioned constitutes metabolic syndrome. In itself, some of these can attribute to NASH and FLD, but together it's like a one-two punch. You are a high, higher cause of getting NAFLD and NASH. So a few comments about this condition. Today in 2020, it is felt that it's the commonest cause of chronic liver disease in Western countries. As I mentioned earlier, it's not as benign as we thought in the past. The global prevalence is 25%. What we have noticed in the last decade is a doubling of this condition. Remember, diabetes has gone up and obesity is an epidemic now. So obviously, when these two conditions have gone up, then you expect an increase in this condition. We believe that 3% of the American population have NASH. 400,000 cirrhosis from NASH exist. 1% to 2% of NASH with cirrhosis annually develop liver cancer. It is the leading cause of liver transplant in 2020. The one other important factor, which is not considered most of the time is independently, it's a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. What do, I mean, what do I mean by that? Well, we know high blood pressure can cause heart problems. Diabetes can cause heart problems. But independently, even NASH and cirrhosis from NASH have a higher chances of giving you heart problems. So we have learned a lot about NAFLD and NASH in the last few minutes. So how do you treat this condition? It is so unfortunate that such a common condition has no treatment right now, no medications. So what do we do? We treat the underlying cause, which means if somebody is obese, we recommend losing weight. Similarly, diabetes, well controlled. Understand that liver has a regenerative capacity. So liver can make new cells. Only liver can make new cells in the body. No other organ can do it. So if you lose weight, you may improve. Vitamin E has some role. We are not sure how much it helps, but probably does help a little bit. So we are proud to say at KMC Research Center, we have six studies going on for NAFLD, NASH, and cirrhosis. So wherever in the spectrum you fit, if it's early disease, we have a study for that. If it's NASH, Early NASH, we have a study for that. We have late NASH, we have a study for that. And with cirrhosis from NASH, we have a study for that. So six studies, phase two and phase three. I don't have enough time to go into individual studies. And I would strongly recommend if you want to know more, please feel free to contact us. If you are a physician and you want to send a patient our way to be involved in these studies, just contact me at drchala at drchala.com. Um, or if you are a patient and want to know more about the studies, you can call us at 785-354-8518. And I can um, connect you to our study coordinator, whether you email or call me and check out what studies we are doing at our website, kmcpa.com. Again, I want to reemphasize that this is not as benign 
a condition as we thought. So if your provider tells you you have abnormal liver function test or fatty liver, that's the time for you or your provider to contact us. Thank you very much for listening.